What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Um, uh, working on the Integra today. Um, update on the Accord. Uh, hopefully, it's been in uh, it's been in Daytona for a while. Uh, I'm getting a new harness and figuring out some wiring issues that I had. Um, so hopefully, uh, next weekend that car will be back. So I want to definitely get this one done. Um, between this weekend going into next week um, so I have time to get my car um, finished but um, kind of bad news for this one um, as I was doing putting new vials in the head uh, I was checking out the block and this piston here I think uh, I've spun a bearing because when I rotate the motor, I can actually push this pist push the piston up and down. Like all these are are solid, but this one here, when you when you push it, it actually goes down. So I really don't want to take the the whole engine out, the block out of the car, because my hoist isn't here, and I don't like bringing it all back over here right now. So I've jacked the car up. Um, already drained the oil. Oh, I'm gonna take the oil pan off and see, and just see if I can see what um, what happened. Uh, if I need to get a new crank or just to see what happened. Um, yeah. So right now I'm just gonna take the oil pan off and see what we got under there. This is really gonna suck because I don't have my air tools with me here. So. I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this tin taking off the freaking bolts. Uh, my garage will be back to normal soon. I'll bring all my tools back. Just took everything out, put it in storage because the garage got really messy and it was getting super unorganized. So took everything out, put it in my storage shed so I can really clean the garage out build my shelves up, build all the stuff that I want. For when my Accord comes back, I'll have a nice little setup to work on everything. Ah, so yeah, let me take all these off. All right, so I finally got the, uh, sorry, let me adjust the camera. Finally got the oil pan off. Um, Took me a little while to get it off because I had to do it by hand. And I take the little, this is automatic, so I had the little transmission cover thing. I had to take that off to get the oil pan off. Uh, now I just got to take the girdle off and the oil uh, filter here. And I should be able to get to the crank and see what it looks like. Alrighty, I believe I found the issue. Well, I don't believe I found the issue. I know I found the issue. Um, this is the issue right here. Number one piston. Yeah, so that would explain a lot. All the other ones seem good, but I'm pretty sure whatever happened, spun a bearing, um, messed up the crank. So I'm just gonna take it off and see how bad that is. Alright, let's see. Sorry, this is such a bad video. Um, trying to do all this with one hand under the car is a headache um but i got this broken loose oh, let's see how bad it is oh i need something to cut it with.
all right this is what this looks like you can see where it was eating into the crank right here in the middle let's pull piston out pistons are in good shape Yeah, so that is that. With it like this, I'm probably just going to get a new crank. Um, pull the rest of the pistons out. Uh, hone the block and just put new piston, uh, just put new piston rings, new bearings and go from there um yeah because that got ate up pretty bad i don't know if you won't focus yeah all right sorry for this video is all over the place um i know it's not the best looking video and it might be crooked and all this stuff but just a little update uh on the integra um Still gotta finish um, the valves. Not the yeah the valves. I gotta finish seating the valves and the head, and um, fix this, and I should be able to slide it back together. Uh, once again, uh, subscribe. Um, the Accord is gonna be back on the channel here in about a week or two. Um, I'm really gonna go hard on that. I want to get it done by my birthday, which is November 29th. Uh, I want to have everything complete on it uh so stay tuned and thanks for watching